My name is Dwayne Dwyer um, with Strider Knives primarily. And we started business in 1992, myself and Mick Strider, and uh, I've grown the company uh, further than we had imagined. Midway through the 2000 era here, we've uh, decided to grow in different ways as well. Uh, Mick and I have created our LLCs uh, so that we can continue to do custom things that doesn't affect Strider Knives' reputation and ability to work for uh, military and government customers and first responders. That's always been our biggest customer base. How do we choose blade steels? The first thing that has to be looked at is the knife has to be viewed simply as a problem-solving tool. If you need to drive a nail, it's best to use a hammer. So what kind of hammer? Well, what kind of nail? Is it an art nail? Then you don't need a sledgehammer. So what is the problem we need to solve? If you're an outdoorsman and you want a woodsman style knife, then we know what that gentleman has to accomplish in the woods. If you're gonna be a, a guy who sits in an office and does fine cutting with a nice little folding knife, then it's different cutting needs. We work with really high-end materials and manufacturing procedures, so we stay at the high end. That way, for us to go and pitch a product as the best it can be made on that given day, uh, to the best of our knowledge, that is what we do. Now, if our government customer says, well, can we dumb that down a little bit cost-wise? Well, then we can sacrifice here and there. We can take material solutions that may be less costly and still make the same product. So to identify steel needs, does a person need toughness in a uh, knife steel? Because toughness would be something to define as the ability of a material to resist chipping or fracture with impact or use. So that's a big one for me. Hardness and wear resistant are two other great ones to mention. But uh, in my opinion, hardness, whether it's 57, 59, 61, they're all gonna work. It's not as critical a factor. Wear resistance, abrasive wear resistance. Guys who do a lot of cutting, like if you were uh, making slitter blades for, for sewing purposes or things like that, high volume cutting, that's when that becomes important. Or if you make ball bearings, wear resistance is really important. Knife steels, it's important, but it's not primary. Toughness, I feel, is one that really gets overlooked and should be addressed as a really important factor. So that toughness, I think, is something that we address first when we look at knife steels. And then we address issues like corrosion resistant. Does it need to be a stainless alloy? So a lot goes into that. As a maker myself, uh, I'm influenced by science, a lot of scientific things. Um, I read a lot of that stuff and I enjoy it. Uh, my partner, Mick, he's a mechanical genius. Uh, he, he's influenced by how things work. So he goes about it a little different than I do. And both of us appreciate beyond measure, beyond words, the people who come to us and have us try to help them with their idea of how to increase the margin of success of those guys out there in harm's way. And if we do that, then man, we've done our job. So this is an exclusive that we're doing with Knife Center right now. We're really excited about that. This is the first delivery ever. My wife, who's been working with me for six years now, uh, Sheila Dwyer, has uh, come up with a great little idea, a great little carry system. She's taken this on herself in manufacturing now. And this is a small, it's a Japanese blade style, the Tonto blade style. This is reconstituted stone handle and she's done reconstituted jade, solid jade. This is the G10 version of it with the Digicam finish uh, and the antiqued blade, uh, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, they're razor sharp, fine geometry, but uh, these can be done with a pocket clip, uh, can be done with a, a clothing clip, can be worn and attached underneath the clothing on, on undergarment. Uh, it can be tied with any of the grommet holes and configured several ways. The, the tags hanging here are not just to make our, our video obnoxious, what they are is a registration tag. Uh, again, being a science guy, I hardness test every single product that leaves our shop. We're big believers in that product from start to finish being of the highest quality that we have the ability to, uh, to achieve.